This ancient technique helped me lose over a hundred pounds and made me go from this to this. Can you guess what the technique is? I'm gonna give you all a few seconds to type out the answer in the comments. Remember, no cheating. All right, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you guessed fasting, you just won. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you what fasting is. Afterwards, I'm gonna tell you the different type of fast and I'm gonna tell you about the different periods of fasting followed by the benefits of fasting. And don't forget the most important part at the end, the most effective fasting period. Now, starting off, the easiest way to get into fasting is something called intermittent fasting. Now, intermittent fasting is a period of eating followed by a period of non-eating. The most popular version of intermittent fasting is the 16-8 fasting window. This means you do not eat for 16 hours and then within the eight hour time frame, you eat all of your meals. It's not complicated. It's as simple as skipping breakfast. Let me explain. You have your first meal of the day at 2 p.m. And you have your last meal of the day at 10 p.m. You're automatically intermittent fasting and you get most of the health benefits of intermittent fasting from following that simple protocol. Now, you've done intermittent fasting for a while and now you're ready to dip your toes in more advanced fasting techniques for even more health benefits. There are two types of fasting other than this. We have something called a regular fast or a wet fast and something harder called a dry fast. Now in a wet fast, you're allowed to drink waters and zero calorie drinks, but no food. Now in a dry fast, no water, no food, zero calories. Now there are some subcategories to dry fast. There's something called a soft dry fast where you're still allowed to brush your teeth and take showers. And if you're a real OG, you do something called a dry hard fast. In this type of fast, you're not allowed to shower, you're not allowed to brush your teeth. Basically, water cannot touch you at all. Now, these are the types of fasting. Other than that, there are fasting periods to this. Now, we learned about intermittent fasting in the beginning. After that, there's something called a 24-hour fast or alternate day eating, where basically you eat one day, the next day you don't eat. That's a type of fasting. There's something that I really like using and that's called a monk fast. This is a fast of 36 hours. You basically fast for 36 hours straight and then you break your fast. After this, there's something called extended fast. In extended fast, you fast between three days to five days. I've done personally done 21 days of a wet fast. Now let's get into the benefits of fasting. Benefit number one is that it promotes healthy sugar levels in the body. Now, the way that it promotes blood sugar control is by reducing insulin resistance. In fact, this study right here showed that intermittent fasting drastically reduced sugar levels in the people in the fast. Another review done in 2014 showed that intermittent fasting was actually just as effective as restricting calories. Now, this is great because overall, this will prevent you from getting things like diabetes and help your health in the long run. Number two, helps fight inflammation. Now, you need to understand that acute inflammation is normal. It's a basically just an immune response and having that is even healthy, right? It helps fight off disease, helps fight off uh, infections. So it's completely normal. Now, when things get bad is when you get something called chronic inflammation. You get a whole host of negative effects to your health when this type of inflammation is present. In this meta-analysis right here of 18 studies, it has shown that intermittent fasting significantly reduced the levels of C-reactive protein. Now, this is what we call an inflammatory marker, and it reduced this marker significantly. Number three, intermittent fasting can promote heart health. This study right here showed that intermittent fasting actually helped lower blood pressure, lower blood level triglycerides, and lower LDL, the bad levels of cholesterol. Point number four, intermittent fasting can actually help prevent cognitive decline and also help prevent neurodegenerative disorders. In these studies here, one of them being an animal study and another one done on humans, it actually showed that fasting increased brain-derived neurotropic factor, which helps in the regeneration of new brain cells. 
So basically, not eating can help you become smarter. And number five, what we all fast for these days is to control our weight. So yes, fasting does help with weight loss. Now, it does this in two ways. One, it restricts the window for you to intake calories. And by doing this, you usually intake in less calories. And the second portion is it actually helps increase your metabolism, which means you'll be burning more calories, thus losing more weight. In this study right here, it actually showed that fasting was more effective than calorie restriction. Now, does this mean that, all right, you just fast and don't really care about your calories? No, I feel like both those things should be used simultaneously. Another very interesting thing about fasting, especially for extended fast, is something called autophagy. Now, autophagy is basically the destruction of dead cells or cells that are not performing at the top levels. Autophagy can start as early as 14 to 16 hours, but it really kicks in after 36 hours, which is why I recommend a 36 hour fast or a monk fast. Let's talk about the best type of fast paired with the best type of fasting window. Now, this study right here took a look at a 12 hour fast, a 36 hour fast, and a 72 hour fast. What it showed was that a 12 hour fast actually lowered the metabolism or had no effect on it. And the 36 hour fast actually increased the metabolism. Now, after 36 hours, the increase in metabolism was negligent. So even if you do a 72 or a five day or a six day, it did not really increase your metabolism. This is why I chose the 36 hour fast as the best type of fast. Now, the reason being, and I'm not biased just because I'm Buddhist and I'm from Sri Lanka and we use monk fast regularly, but it is also a type of fast that is easy to do consistently. It is a type of fast that once you get used to it, you can do it once a week with ease. You can reap all the health benefits like we talked about, protect your brain, protect your heart, reduce inflammation, get that autophagy going so that you can get rid of these dead cells and useless cells and cancer cells in your body. Now, if you wanna make it even better, you wanna start off obviously doing a wet monk fast, so you're still drinking water. But once you really get used to it, you can do a dry monk fast. And now you're probably asking, hey man, like where's the water coming from? How am I gonna be hydrated? What's gonna happen? So what's gonna actually happen is your body is gonna break down your fat cells to create water. Your body literally creates water within itself. The benefits of this? Easy, you lose way more fat much faster. TLDR, the best type of fast, is a wet monk fast because it is sustainable and it's easier to do and it gives you all the health benefits you need. All right, my name is Majillian. Thank you all for stopping by. Stay tuned for the next episode. If you have any questions, recommendations, you just wanna send me some love, drop it in the comments below. Peace. What? Why?